You got a hidden room in here? Oh, you'll see. I'll well, show you. There's a little secret there's gotta under the base, be, too. There's gotta be a secret room oh, or yeah. something. Yeah, you can see Santa stuck in the wall. What the hell? The best part of the whole base, if you come out oh! here. Oh! Heyo, fellow Wastelanders, Johnny5 Alive here, and I'm joined with Synchros! Heyo! Welcome back to some more settlement spotlights. We're gonna check out a couple more camps today. We're gonna do a surprise here. Synchros is head over Bacon Bites' house, and he's actually at my place. I was hoping this guy would get a, give us a fast travel, but he seems to be AFK. Kind of funny that he's at my house, and uh, Synchros is headed towards his house. So we don't know what yeah. his house looks like yet, so it's gonna be a mystery episode. So I, well, I figured... I'm here right now, and there's a Vertibot fight happening. Okay. <laughs> this just in. This just in. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna check out Bacon Bites' house next, and uh, maybe, maybe some others as well. So stay tuned, and let's check them out. Okay, here we are. We're at Bacon Bites House. First looks, it looks bad, but we'll have to wait and see. It's a floating shack. I will save my impressions for when we go in. However, he's done it at this kind of power plant thingy, so that might be interesting. Let's save our judgment for after. We, yep. can, we can always squeeze another one in this episode. If I'm not happy with um, the settlements we've seen, we're always going to do more. I'm not going to stop the episode until I'm satisfied. That's, That's called Matriarch. Ooh. I mean, so you it's, see why it's floating in the air when you have these things running around below you. If I mean, oh yeah, well, that's one thing we didn't do. It's Cranberry Bog, north of Watoga. Yeah. Dangerous, dangerous, terrible place to build. I remember I had a base, base in Cranberry Bog, and I was always under attack by Scorch Beasts, Super Mutants. But like, he's got traps. He's prepared. Yeah. He is prepared, and this was created by Bacon Bites. So like even right here where I'm struggling to get through, this is a spot that you might get enemies trying to come through that gate and they're gonna get held up here and you can just pick at them when he's got this ramp here, he's thought this Oh, out. and we have a backside here. A Luprikins is here. He was just at my house. Hey man. See this? So he's, he's been planning this stuff out for What's defenses up? like. We're just checking out your base. Uh, we're your friend's base. I'm assuming Bacon's your friend. Nope. No. Nope? Okay. I just go around and hit up shops. Looking okay. for plans and stuff. Yeah, Ooh, man. Okay. But that being said, all these outside walls are built himself. Really? It's going very defensive. All these con concrete, that's all. I didn't part know you of could do that. I don't have that on my. Yeah, they, they snap together. Holy staircase to. <laughs> Death <Deathclaw> um... rug. <laughs> it's <laughs> definitely killed a few in here. Holy moly, this is big and empty. Got whip. <laughs> whip? <laughs> yeah. Unless you just ran out of pieces. Given the amount of defenses, and well, this concrete wall is eat up a fair amount. He's got a lot of them. All right, well, we found the vendor room, so it's that time again. Let's see what uh, Aha, they are offering. I'm just going to start from this side. What they're offering, every episode, I have to buy something from a vendor to help the community. We are making the caps go round. Oh, he's the got the Enclave officer hat clock. and uniform. Ooh. I might buy that on wait do I have I might have that one actually I might have stole it off my other character Halloween costume marine wetsuit some pretty good costumes in here the clean clean spacesuit helmet where was that that's 500 Ugh. oh man really I have one of those brotherhood soldier suit I and think I outfit. know where to get them I just don't remember to break this second there's some pretty good outfits in there a little bit overpriced I have to be a little bit more careful I went a little bit mad on the last one the uh, mounted deer head he's got a bunch of them I know you like those yeah we'll buy a mounted deer head I just bought a sheep squatch mascot outfit a mounted frog I'll buy that a sheep squatch outfit I'll have to check that I'm, out I'm wearing it right now I'll, I just bought it <laughs> I'll, I'll turn around in just a second right I like now. these I like these mounted heads if I ever do like a hunter house or something and a mounted squatch Squirrel. There's a lot of the mounted stuff here and plenty of them if you're interested. I don't like ticks, so I'm not gonna things, buy it. Yeah. Uh, a Tesla rifle plan. I can't afford that. Ultrasight helmet. Sure. Left arm, right leg. Yeah. That's kind of like the end game uh, armor, isn't it? Oh, I can't remember what's good about Ultrasight. I don't know if it's radiation resistant or what. I don't know. Buying it anyway. Acoustic instrument set. Yeah. Don't you have that? No. No, you don't. Wait, no, you built me a guitar. Yeah, you do. That wasn't me. Oh, you sure? Yup. Okay, that's all the vendor's stuff I'm buying off this guy. I feel like there must be like thousands of recipes in this game. Oh, there must be. Okay, wow. What are you wearing? This is the uh, sheep squatch outfit. It looks like pajamas. It's a onesie. Ah. <laughs> 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 I'm okay. not a fan. 
This is 100 caps. <laughs> All right, well, oh, there's a couple statues up here. The uh, Brotherhood versus the Death Claw. Look up there. Oh, oh, yeah. So this is really just a flex. Look, I'm building in the Cranberry Bog. Look at me. I built a fort. I built a fort above a power plant. So I think um, for muscle, trying to do something more military, you definitely get some points from me. But you could have done something way better with that big box yeah, on top. It's sure. just an eyesore. The inside was awful. Uh, it does not need to be that big at all. No, and you could have made it look cool. You could have actually made it look like a giant standing guard tower. If you cut half of that building off, that's that much more building space for the other half that you could have filled the Put a balcony, uh, a, a metal roof, make the thing out of... You could have made it look like a steel fortress in the sky with some proper supports. I think it, it, this idea has a lot of potential, especially with what you've got around it. So I think with the surrounding stuff is cool. The upper stuff is just bad, and that is the majority of what we're judging. So my... Oh my god, we have a level 91... I'm being judged. You're being judged. Oh, he came just in I'm time. <laughs> <laughs> Bacon oh, yeah. bites. That's what's, my, what's going on that's, here? Who's that's my you? that's my pet death claw. I named him Jerry. <laughs> that runs you down. Oh shit! Holy man, <laughs> no, you just Jerry. one shot that. Six hundred XP for that. Yeah. Yeah, we're judging your base. All right, what's your final score, Say Cross? It gets points being where it is, and I do like the military essence of it. <laughs> He's judging us, judging him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so no, I'm gonna give it a three, but that's that's being generous. In. Yeah, I think I'm being generous there, but I am giving it a three just based off of the location it's in and the fact that he just one shot that death claw in front of me. So <laughs> <laughs> hard two for me, but cool location. What a five. That's not. Yeah, bad. to be honest, to be honest, it's not my final thing. Yeah, I only came here for the death claw spawn. Yeah, that's that's badass. Definitely get the badass points for making some military stuff. That's why I went a three. <laughs> yep, that's why Seekers that's why Seekers gave you a three. You wanna turn around for me, Bacon? Can I get a screenshot with you? <laughs> Alright. Well thanks for uh letting me buy some stuff and check out your base. Yeah, of course. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you in the wasteland. Get it, man. Bye. I mean if you want to see something cool, I can put up my power armor out, uh set. Yeah, let's see it. Are you guys just raiding random bases or We are. Oh neat. Yeah. Should you wanna show us your host for the second uh yeah. The second thing yeah, of this sure. episode. Oh man. I'm up by Vault 76. Hold on, this guy's showing us his armor. I already left. Oh, you got more. Jeez. All right. I have a small collection. <laughs> is there more? Or is that it? One more. There you go. Fit this all into a thumbnail. Cool. Okay, so we're over. How do you say your name? Uh, just Calvin, Calvin Cowboy. Calvin Cowboy. Cowboy. Yeah. So I'll show your name on the map here. To Calvin Cowboy. Uh, yeah. Location right off next to Vault 76. Free transport. Anyone wants to come here to buy stuff, they can do it for free. That's always a nice bonus. I like it. Uh, built on the side of a cliff. Your cow is flying. It's kind of cool. I always wanted a flying cow. The magical cow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Majestic creature. Okay, you got the robot. I like it. You got the badass power armor. Uh, pimped out, First man. thing. Vending machine oh, I'm hearing synchro right twice. Here. Hold on, Accessible. let me mute you. Uh, yeah, you right there at the front. Shower. Wait, can nice. you? Is there a button for the garage? Oh yeah, right inside. Right okay. In here. So I can open Hit. and close it. Ah, beautiful. You got a decontamination. Now are shower your doors locked? Plans. Oh, they are. So. Oh uh, yeah, you, they are locked. Oh, so that's a nice feature. So you decide when you're gonna open shop. So you can close yeah, that door and now. no one can get in. That's cool. I like that. You're like, I'm closing shop today. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> you let me in! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one thing we do with these episodes. No! I'm locked out! No! <laughs> Synchros is a person. <laughs> I'm like locked in between. <laughs> okay, there we go. And that's not even the piece. So we, we, we want to see what you're selling here in your vending machines. Oh man, you got a new American flag too. Oh, this is cool. Unstoppables. Man, those uh, those are some expensive plans. As soon as I walk in, this is like a couch that I want to sit on. What do we have over here? Man, I said I have to buy something from every vendor, and all your stuff is... I can't afford anything. I got like 2,000 caps. It? And I, 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 I need, I need is a more to go sick plan to have, but... Yeah. It is. Well, he's got all these like crazy endgame items in here. 
fifteen thousand yeah. dollar guitar sword. I'm just a noob, man. I started a new character for Wastelanders, but we're gonna get there. I'm I'm dedicated to Fallout 76 this time around because it's so much better. It's amazing. So you making something affordable for me? Yeah, 200 cap for a two shot, 10 millimeter. Ooh. Sure. You guys ever look closely at the stuffed beaver or whatever the hell this thing is up here? Wow. The Yao Gori? Thank you, man. It's like, uh, ah! sloth. It's a mega sloth. Mega sloth. Sweet. <laughs> they look hilarious. Evening, gentlemen. Two shot. How's it going? Hi. Hanging right Evening. in there, man. Hell hey. Yeah. You got the communist power armor. I love it. Yeah, I got a uh, Nuka Cola set too, but I can't wear it yet. Awesome. Oh, neat. I feel like I should have brought my power armor. Everyone's. Beefy over here. I got, I got, I, I got the. Around, uh, I'm too heavy without it. I always forget what it's called. The, uh, Settler armor. You happen to be selling any serums? Uh, excavator. No, it's Actually, not excavator. I have oh, you have the T60. Yeah, but it's skinned with the. Oh. Uh, what are your prices like? Oh, I like the little junk stash here. This hey, you. Cute. He's got the the first nice bed we've seen. Yeah. Contemporary like, pack. Like you sleep in it. Good decorations. I love the freedom up on the walls. Nice yeah, clutter. really good clutter. Super cozy. What's this? Oh, that's the garage, right? No, what's this extra room? You got a hidden room in here? Oh, you'll see. I'll well, show you. There's a little secret there's gotta under the be, too. There's got to be a secret room oh, or yeah. something. Here you can see Santa stuck in the wall. What the hell? The best part of the whole base, if you come out oh! here, is if you'll notice... You'll what? notice there's not any actual, um, there's not any crafting areas here. Wait. But if you come down here, you come outside. Oh. oh sneaky, I like it. Oh, Hell yeah. wait. Oh, that you is so here. cool. Wait, how do we... What? what? You got this. You Wait, what? This place down here. Where'd he go? Just come down the hill. The area chat is really hill. messed up. Oh. I hear uh, you in, like, one ear when here. you're not... In down here. We're all okay. trying to squeeze through that tiny hole when oh, there's like dude. a jet. Wow! <laughs> I love it. Oh, this, this is amazing. What, why, what's, how do we, what's, oh, the, the Santa. What, there's no way oh, to drop just, through there's there. There's just so you can see it. Yeah, no, because the foundations are weird because they kind of slide you up it. I wanted to make an entrance in there, but it didn't work. Do so you, I just made the entrance down here. You know what you can do? You know how like you can put like a, um, a cooking stove backwards, and when you access it, you go through the wall and fall through. Oh shoot! I could so you do that. you could do that so that like people will fall through this hole. <laughs> <laughs> right? Get a little trap going. Yeah. Oh, dude, this is sick. You're the first uh, base that we've seen that has a secret area and we just went through one where we were like i wish there was built into a game are you at max not. build limit uh yeah i'm like sitting right there at max because the one thing that your house needs uh this part here like it does the roof is a little bit you know flat it needs oh yeah the it needs some bad. trim or something. any one of you guys uh have some pure cobalt flux and violet flux i can buy off you nope I got none. <laughs> Everybody's. But the issue with that is, I wanted to put. This was initially going to have a second story, but because okay. the the bottom Damn of the it. camp is down there in the basement, up here. Yeah. At the very Elvin top. Cowboys it's out of the got some flex you can probably buy. It's out of the limit. Look at so, this fucking place. It's awesome. You can. Yeah, you this can is sick, dude. Badly. Because I wanted to make it like a two-story house. Damn. Won't be. Yeah. Up. What uh, what kind of uh, serums do you have, man? I just have marsupial, currently. So the uh, contemporary well, house itself, have, uh, it's, it's missing it, uh, a bit of roof, but you've made up with it with the cave. That cave was sick. The inside you clutter is like amazing. The uh, opening up shop and closing shop is amazing. Elders. There's a lot of really good aspects here. Uh, all right, okay. I agree. If the roof, I think... if the roof was done, I, I'd say it would just be perfect. But I still, I'd have to. Hell yeah. I'd have to give this one a five out of five just because you got that secret cave. I'm going and, five out of five, uh, too, because nice. we reacted insanely with the cave. Yeah, that was quite the surprise. And you have the a, base itself, the and you have a is nice. majestic and you flying cow. So cape kind of roof. Like, there's effort there, for sure. Yeah, Thanks, guys. I think you can improve the roof, but you ran out of part counts. And where you, the reason yeah. you ran out of part counts was worth it. It's not part counts, even. Yeah, it's just the height. height right. Oh, limit. height building limit. Oh! Oh, yeah. When you're building low like that, I guess so, eh? Right, because yeah. you put your camp in the cave. Yeah, I probably should have put it up here. 
but ah, uh, gotcha. Yeah. I don't I know how so depth works. I realized. Depth work the uh, one the, thing uh, I would recommend though. you change is make it so you had, like I said with the trap room, so people access like the thing and they yeah. fall through. That I would be cool. You could do that with the cooking stove, so I'm definitely gonna be doing that. Yeah, you access it and you go through the wall and fall through the hole, and then they're gonna be like, "Where am I?" <laughs> <laughs> and if you want, you can have like a garage shutter down there, and then you just trap them. <laughs> just <throw> people. <laughs> I, I, I would think like, I have a flame trap back here, but it doesn't do anything because it didn't get it wired up. But I would just fill a room down there with fire, flamethrower traps. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, yeah, really cool. Uh, yeah, sick base, dude. Yeah, really sick base. Yeah, thanks. And we have this little campground here with a cool view of the forest. The hills. What if I borrow your uh, cooking stove? <laughs> oh, sure, why not? Yeah, just <laughs> turn it around real quick. <laughs> uh, that's amazing. All right, lovely. That's a banger, that was, dude. That's yeah, this is, one this of the one best bases we've seen so far. Uh, definitely in the top three there. Really good stuff. Oh, Heartache. We checked his base out earlier, didn't we? Uh, yeah, we did. Hi. Yeah, that was the first one we checked out. Yeah, Dude, what armor is that? It looks snappy. <laughs> that is really crazy. Well, Which armor? you can say hi to everyone, oh, Heartache. We uh, we checked out your base for a video. What armor was that? Thank you. Uh, it's just combat armor and metal armor. Oh, okay. well, you're the one with the kitty backpack. Didn't I run into you the other day at Wayward? Uh, probably. I hope you didn't because I kill people a lot. <laughs> <laughs> she says that with a crazy mask. <sighs> We got a crazy. All right, I think we better leave. We've overstayed our welcome. The goat woman's here. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> All right, so uh, a couple interesting ones in this episode. Started off a little shaky, but ended off with a bang. Two really, yeah. two really great, uh, interesting uh, settlements. It's, it's, and, I, and I thought the last one was just amazing and it's full of shenanigans super fun you just never know what you're gonna expect with these and we got this guy here we got the communist <laughs> he's waving goodbye that's perfect we're gonna end off the episode here if you guys enjoyed be sure to like and subscribe and return for more settlement spotlights and uh shout out to it's beggar dirk <laughs> <laughs> it's bigger and darker. Your GF. <laughs> okay, there you go. Shout out. All right, see you guys in the next episode. Bye now. Bye now.